Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I'm here with the Nokia Lumia 900, and I want to just give you a little bit of hands-on with it. So I kind of walked you through the hardware in the first video, so let's just kind of start with you know what you get when you first turn on the device. So you get uh, an indicator on the top, a couple indicators actually for your connectivity to your cellular data, Wi-Fi, and your battery. Uh, and those will eventually sort of disappear and just float away, but you can pull them down from the home screen by just swiping down. Uh, on, the home, on this sort of intro splash screen here, you have the time and date, and here is your, my next calendar entry. And what's actually really cool about Windows Phone in particular is when you connect your social, your different social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and the like, it'll pull in that information. So in this case, this notification is actually been pulled directly in from Facebook, which is pretty cool. So we can go ahead and slide up, and this is going to be your Metro UI. This is Microsoft's new operating system, or, you know, we've actually seen this. This is actually 7.5, so this is the second year of Windows Phone, the second gen, if you will. So if you've never seen Windows Phone before, instead of just being a list of apps like we see kind of with Android and, of course, iOS, you have these updating live tiles for different things. So you have your phone. You have people, which I'll talk about in a second, messaging, and your email account. And these are all customizable. You have AT&T UVerse, Internet Explorer 9. This is an app that I added. It is a weather application, so it's giving me the current weather and a map, and it moves behind that. Again, calendar, and that will pull in from your different social networks. Pictures. And again, you can add any of these. So let's say you wanted to, I don't even know, let's say you wanted to move around this weather app. You just hold and you get this view. You can move it around and you can also unpin it. That's what they refer to as putting on the home screen as a pin. And you can click on a different application, move it, and you know that's that's how you do it. It's, it's pretty intuitive uh, to do. So let's look at uh, the people application. So again, I talked about how Windows Phone pulls in everything. In, in Windows Phone, what it'll actually do is people will not only be your contacts that you put on your device, but it'll pull in your contacts from Facebook and Twitter as well. And if you go to settings by just swiping up, you can actually choose to filter your contacts. So right now I have Facebook, Google, and Windows Live, and of course also the contacts that are just stored on the device. But for me, I have a good amount of friends on Facebook, but I don't necessarily want to see all of them on my list, so I uncheck them. Whereas Google, that's how I synchronize all my contacts, so that's how it comes into play. And then you have some other choices, just display and all that, so we can go back. And what's cool is you have recent, and again, these are live tiles, so these will update with names. And then you have what's new, and in what's new, you can kind of see some status updates from your friends. Although it's not the most intuitive thing in the world, because think about it, all the content that could be coming in from Facebook and Twitter and the like. So that's kind of not where I... Uh, go when I want to look for that information. Um, so we can, I'll show you pictures again. Pictures pulls in that information from uh, the social graph as well, so I'll show you that in a second. So if we look at albums, we can look at albums from SkyDrive. We can look at my camera roll. So these are images when I was in New York City, Times Square. I, I'm sure you guys have seen some of these images. You can just zoom in just like you would on anything. So there's a picture. And we can pull up, we can share it right from here, we can share it on Facebook, uses wallpaper, add to favorites or auto fix. If we click on auto fix, it'll go ahead and fix it and it'll sort of bump up the contrast ratio and make it look a little cool and you can save it, turn it off, or uh, get rid of it if that's what you're, if you don't like it. So you can go back. And I was talking about that social integration. So for instance, um, this is an album that I put up on Facebook from a Clemson game. And it pulls in all that social information. So none of these pictures are taken from the local device. These are all pulled right from the cloud. So that's that's definitely pretty cool. And you can swipe. You can look at dates, favorites. You can look at people. So you can choose contacts and look at them. For me, I'll just show you an example of what mine looks like. This is some recent photos that it has of me. Uh, but you can choose a contact and basically do the same thing. Again, it'll pull in if, the, if they're tagged on your phone or Facebook and the like. Social is definitely one of the biggest features um, here. So uh, in terms of looking at all your applications, you just swipe to the right, and then you have a list here. 
So this, I'm not going to go into specific applications, uh, specific application reviews in this video because I just want to make it quick, but you can hop over to settings and you can look at general settings, application settings, um, and what's cool is theme. So let's look at the themes real quick. Right now I'm on dark mango, but with a couple clicks I can make this a lighter theme with Nokia blue, or Nokia, and go right back to the home screen. And now it's a completely different look. This phone looks completely different than it did before. But you know what? I really like that dark orange. That's kind of what I've been using. So how can I go back to that? Well, if you use that back arrow, that capacitive touch on the Nokia device, the Lumia 900, you can go right back to that last application that you were in. So I can go back to dark, and I can go back to that mango color. And then I can go home by clicking this button. Now. Multitasking on this device is pretty much very similar to Android in the sense that it's mostly fast app switching as opposed uh, to actually full true multitasking. And to do that, to launch that, you hold the back button and it pulls it up and it'll show you all the different applications that you have recently used. So we can hop over to Internet Explorer and here's just a page I was looking at. And that's kind of what I was just talking about. It's not pre-cached. It's not, you know, saved in the background. So when I go back to that page, you know, you have to you have to use that. And what's also cool, if we go back, uh, talking about these capacitive keys, if you hold down the Windows key, you sort of get some voice commands. So, open Internet Explorer. Starting Internet Explorer. And it says starting Internet Explorer, and it goes ahead and does that. Open the camera. And, it's, and you can go ahead and do that. It doesn't work 100% perfect. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not comfortable enough to know if maybe camera isn't the right command for that. But, oh, we just got a weather alert. So let's see what that alert is all about. That completely unplanned, but we can check it out. Click on alerts. Special weather alert. Increase fire danger for Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday evening. Okay, I'll try to stay away from some fires. Um, so that was just an, uh, an example of notifications when they come in. Same thing for emails or texts. And of course, you can search. And wherever you are, you have universal search. Uh, so you can go in and you can speak to it. So let's say you wanted to search um, for cookies. Cookies. I don't know why I just thought of cookies, but if I wanted to get some Great American Cookies, there's the address, and I can get directions just by clicking on that from Bing. I can just go over to Images. Of course, I can type in any search query that I'm looking for. So that has just been a really quick look at the experience that you're going to get on the Lumia 900, essentially an overview of Windows Phone 7.5. Honestly, this is this platform is very new. It's very young. I think it does a lot of things well. I think that there's definitely room for improvement in terms of multitasking, in terms of some third-party applications, the scrolling gets funky, there's just some nuance to this, and of course, there's apps for a lot of the things that I do, Twitter, weather, and the like, uh, you know, but there are certain games that you become accustomed to, just the copious amounts of word games that I see on my iOS devices that a lot of my friends play and want to play me with you know, aren't in the marketplace yet. Microsoft is making a strong push to, you know, fix that issue. Um, but until then, you know, you're not going to have all those uh, cool games and apps. Although, again, that's not a big issue for me because the basic functions, browsing the web, doing social stuff, making phone calls and messages and, and texts, work very well and work very quickly on the Lumia 900. So I've been pretty happy with that. So that's just a quick uh, tour of the Lumia 900. If you have any questions, shoot me, uh, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Have a nice day, guys.